Hello and welcome to this video. So we have some single candle patterns. The next thing to do is to add in a dual candle pattern. Back on Baby Pips, you can see we have some double candle patterns here. I'm just going to take one of these and we'll choose this engulfing pattern here so we can see how to do patterns with more than one candle. This will be pretty quick because it's nothing that we haven't done already in our other simulations and things like that in terms of technique. We're going to add a couple of constants at the top. So I'm going to add a constant called Big Body which is basically the body has to be above a certain percentage to be classified as an engulfing candle and also the previous candle as well. And then we're going to do something called an engulfing factor. We're going to use that to say that the, um, the body of the engulfing candle has to be 1.1 times bigger at least than the body of the previous candle. So down to the apply stats, we're going to need to know some statistics when we're on our current candle of the previous candle. So the first thing we're going to need to know is the body range of the previous candle. So we'll type def and then previous body range is equal to df.bodyrange.shift1. And I'm going to be lazy and just copy this down twice to save us a little bit of time. So we can get the previous direction, which I'll put here. And then we can also get the previous body percentage, which I'll put here. Now we know that we leave at the top of the data frame a null value when we shift. So I'd like to get rid of that. So I'm going to type df dot drop na and in place equals true and now just run this and check that everything's okay by running down the bottom and we and we have some of these uh, statistics here that we need to calculate the engulfing candle so the next thing then is to write this engulfing candle function we'll do that uh, above apply stats and i'm going to call it def apply engulfing and the logic here is pretty simple we'll say that if the row previous direction is not the same as the current direction so if we have two opposing color candles, we can now check whether the row dot previous body percentage is greater than the big body and the row dot body percentage is greater than the big body. So if we have two opposing big body candles, we can now write that if the row body range is greater than the previous body range multiplied by the engulfing factor return two, otherwise return false. So having written that function, we just need to apply it. So I'm going to drop down to the apply patterns, just copy this one here, substitute hammer with uh, engulfing, and then we can apply our engulfing function. And that should be all we need to do to identify the engulfing candles. So just run that, rerun this and run this. And now we can go down and let's move our plot along a bit. We'll go 700 to 800. And here now, obviously we can take the engulfing out of here and just remove the rest of the ores and see whether we're identifying some engulfing candles or not. And having a look at the plot, yep, this one looks like a, a bearish engulfing. I mean, this candle you could argue is a bit small compared with this one. We might want to put some other statistics in. And here we have a bullish engulfing, and here we have another bullish engulfing. And we can see that we seem to be identifying reasonably, I would say, the, uh, the candle patterns. Let's just have another look. Yep, these look like uh, engulfing candles. So that's it then for this video. We'll leave it there for the candle patterns. You've seen multi-candle patterns and you've seen single candle patterns. And in the next few videos, I'd like to actually get on with calculating some of the indicators. So thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video.